Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This short video is to show you how to set up dual rates in OpenTX on your Jumper T16 radio. Now let's go into OpenTX Companion. I'm going to open my latest backup of my Jumper T16 and I've already set up another model there that I can edit to show you adding the dual rates. So if we open that up And we need to go to inputs. Now we need an extra line on the aileron. So we're going to click there, right click and then say add. Now we must go down here and just check the source because it's changed to rudder. I'm not sure why, but put aileron. Okay. And this now has to be allocated to switch. Now I'm using SD. So this will be with the dual rate on. So I need to pick SD, let me go down, SD in the middle position and I want the weighting to be 60%. So I will just get 60% of the throw. So if we do that, that's now set up. Now we have to tell this aileron line to be active when the switch is in the up position. So we double click that, we, go, we leave the weight at 100% and we go to switches and we find the D switch again and in the up position. And then we click OK. Now our dual rate should be set up. I have already in the special functions put a uh, dual rate, aileron on dual rate off and aileron dual rate off um, sound. So now we can go and test this. If we go to simulate. Okay, we're going to turn the rate off. Now we push the MDL button and then push it again and hold it. Now we see our channel channels. The, so we can see, there we go, we've got two servos, one in each wing, and both of them are operating to 100%. Push this switch down oh, here, turn the jaw rate on, and we should only go now to 60, or whatever amount you've set in there. So that is simply as simple as that. That's how easy it is to set up your dual rates. And you can obviously do that with the rudder and with the ele uh, ele elevators if you want to do that as well. Normally I would do the elevators and aileron. Now let's switch over to the radio. I will show you the necessary inputs you need to put on the radio to do the same result without using OpenTX Companion. Bill from the future, just hang on a sec. I've actually missed something there. If I go to the simulation and then we go and check the channels. If I've got my switch in dual rate off, okay, 100%, we get 100% of the travel. If I go to dual rate Okay, that's great, we're getting 60% each way. But the problem is, if this switch is accidentally switched down to the down position, her aeroplane goes flying into the ground. So, what we need to do is go back to here. We need to put another line in, matching this line, which you could make another dual rate, or just set up the same. So if you accidentally flick the switch SD, from up to middle and then to down, it won't stop your ailerons from working. So let me just show you that. So we are going to add another line, change this to aileron. Okay, make the weighting 60. I'm just gonna have, just have two dual rates. Put the switch and select that to D down and say, okay. We've now sorted that problem out. If we go to the simulation, and we okay let's go back into here and back into there now we should have 100 percent throw great dual rate on we should just get 60 as we set it up and now if we accidentally push that switch right down we would still get 60 percent That was something I just realised as I stopped filming the previous section. So anyway, no damage done. I've let you know how to make sure that that doesn't happen. 
I'm sure we could make this into a sticky switch by using a logical switch and making SDS, uh, switch SD into a sticky switch and that would stop that happening but um, just in case you don't do that this is the way to do it is to set up three positions on that switch which all have a value. Now let's switch over to the radio. Okay let's switch over to my fantastic jumper T16 radio. Okay we need to select push the model button and then the page button until we get to inputs. So we are going to need to insert two lines. So we hold the scroll button down and we say insert after. The first one we're going to set up will be the 60% jaw rate by setting the weight at 60. And we're going to assign that to switch this one here. And this will act and it will be in that position. Okay, we push OK and we push Enter, Enter. Oh, return, Return, sorry. Then we push the Enter button again and we say Insert After. Now this is what I missed out on the previous part of the video is to make up the second, the, th the third position of the switch to make sure we don't lose our ailerons. So we're going to go into here. As I said before, you could, oh, beg my pardon, whoopsie daisy. We could put in here a different dual rate, but I'm not going to. I'm going to set it up as 60%. You could have a separate one if you wanted to. And then you could make a sound saying the, the dual rate value, which is quite, be quite a nice idea. Okay, and then we're going to go down to the side of the switch, say switches, and then this is going to be, if that posi the SD position is down, it will then make sure we don't lose control of our aircraft. So we go OK and return. Now to finish the job off we need to go to the first aileron and edit this and assign that. We leave it at 100% and we're going to assign that to the same switch but in the up position. OK and then we, we should be there. As I said I've already put the sounds on there but let's let's check it's um, working okay. So we hit the model button, we hold the model button again, and we'll come up with our channels. So there we go, and they're right at the top. So our channels are working nicely at, at full throw, at 60% throw. Wonderful. And then if we accidentally do this, we're still okay. And there we go. It is as simple as that. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now. Motor.